I guess I would like to say that maybe you guys didn't come out with the intensity you wanted. I know you just talked about over the course of the game, that seemed to be the case, but you did start out well. There was, um, there seems to be a good or at least a decent first half there. Um, and then a drop in the second half. We've sort of seen that a little bit from this team in, in some games. Is is that something that you're worried about? I mean, yeah, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I, again, I think, um, you know, part of this is uh, I, I thought our intensity was good for about 30 minutes. Again, I thought once we scored the the first goal, again, uh, to be all, with respect to the opposition, it was a pretty easily scored goal. And then the second goal we score that gets called back again, it feels like it's, it's one that we score pretty easily. And I think the group feels like, Oh, these opportunities are going to come left and right. If we, we keep hitting the final pass, they're going to give us the space. And, and we didn't connect on a lot of those. And over time at altitude, at heat, we haven't played in 10 days, uh, keep turning over the ball. Those kinds of things, just, they turn against you over time, all the little mistakes, losses of possession, where you get bullied off the ball or just lose things. Again, those things cost you over 90 minutes. That's why the game isn't 20 minutes long. It's 90 minutes, and every decision matters over the course of 90 minutes. And uh, so I, I think our inefficiencies, uh, along with with sometimes our lack of intensity, sometimes on the defensive side especially, they, they cost us over 90 minutes, and we became very vulnerable. I mean, to start the second half, we had a little bit of a step-out press. They hit three long balls at all three of them. Our center backs won, and we lost every single ball in midfield after we won the initial ball. Uh, it ended up being on the third one, I think, where they went down and scored to make it 1-1. Like, this is – it just – if we're going to press and force them into long balls, then then we have to be able to win the first ball, recover the second ball. We can control some field position that way. But but again, we lost the second balls. For me, that's an intensity thing. It's an intensity and engagement to work harder than the opposition to get to the spot where we can do it. So, again, I think these things, <clears throat> I think these things cost us over ninety minutes. Uh, you know, I think again with with our group and with guys away over 90 minutes, we have some young guys who are good and they give us good minutes, but we can't expect them to come in and change the game and to go win a game for us and to, and to do that. It's the guys who start the game have to make sure that the game is in a good position down the stretch for us to, to win the game and, and give the, give the guys we bring on the best chance to see the game out and, and all that. That's just, we have to do that right now. That's the way it is. And you know, maybe in the future with everybody here, we have more impactful players who, when they come on, we can really change the trajectory of the game and do a lot of those things. But with respect to our young guys who have been incredible for us, it's a big ask for them to have to do that on the road time and time again. It just can't happen. So um, that's, for me, a, a bit of the where we're, where we're at tonight. And I don't think it's been the, the MO of the team. I, I just think tonight I thought we got casual because we thought the game was going to be easier than, than it, it ultimately did, and it cost us. Thanks, Craig. Mm -hmm. We have time for a couple more questions. Uh, next, we'll go to Galaxy Guy Podcast. Thanks for uh, taking the time, Greg. Um, I'm pretty well attuned to most of the major Galaxy hubs on social media, Discord, Instagram, Twitter. The number one question from fans uh, was the question, the question is, you know, why did Rayan Revelson get subbed in, subbed out in the 70th minute? Uh, it did seem like Sasha was probably the guy that was first to be subbed off, uh, but he wasn't. There seemed to be some confusion there um, during that substitution. Can you guys just kind of run by the decision for subbing out Ryan first? Was it an injury concern, perhaps? It was. Uh, at halftime, he came in, he was having some calf issues uh in one of his calves and so we weren't sure if he was gonna even make it on in the second half he felt like he could and he wanted the first five minutes to see where he was at uh and you know i felt like he was okay i felt like he was still managing it um but doing doing his part um so i was set to leave him on and, and sash was going to be the adjustment but ryan after ryan after he went into the challenge he said both calves immediately cramped up and you know, whatever he was managing became a little bit more of a concern. Not, I think he's okay, but it became more of a concern in, in the short term. And we didn't want it to become something long term. We don't have, we don't have the capacity to take that risk right now. And so, uh, so we made, we readjusted the, the change. Um, and some of that was preservation for, for him and to make sure that 
uh, at the best way possible that we don't lose another guy during this, this stretch between now and, and the next one. And at that point, um, yeah, we needed to we needed to see out where we were at least. Thank you. All right, thanks for the time, Greg. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys, thanks for waiting. We've got Sasha question here. Um, first, we'll toss it off to uh, Josh Gessman. Hey, Sasha, uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, I, I know it wasn't an easy night for you guys. Uh, Greg sort of questioned the uh, the effort over 90 minutes, but you guys had a good start to this game. Um, how did it sort of go sideways for you? Yeah, that's that's the disappointing part is that we started the game really well, I think in the first 10 minutes. Uh, they couldn't figure out what they wanted to do. And then as soon as we scored, maybe a few more minutes, we pushed a little bit. And then after that, I feel like the game changed and we just weren't winning any duels. We weren't winning any second balls. We weren't able to step out and press them in the first half. So they were just gaining field position on us and we weren't able to hit them on the counter. And the most the, the most disappointing thing is because is the, is that we didn't play the way we want to play. Right. So we're sitting back and defending at altitude. It's that's not a recipe for success. So we need to have the ball more. We need to keep the ball more. We need to pass the ball more in their half of the, in their half of the field to really dominate the game. And we didn't do that tonight. You know, uh, Greg talked a little bit about a disjointedness between the midfield and, and the defense. Um, you got Derek Williams back. He hasn't played for a couple of games. You had uh, Ryan come in and he played at central defensive midfielder, which he has been playing at, at you know, center back. Was there, you know, just some newness in there or, or maybe some rust after 10 days? Um, I don't know. I mean, it was good to have Derek back. I think he, he obviously has quality and, and, you know, maybe he's a little bit rusty, but I still, I still think he had a pretty good game. Um, you know, just finding that balance between myself and Ryan to try to figure out how they're going to press and then how we can, we can do our thing to, to break them down, right. And pass out of the back and, and be the link between the defense and the attack. So, um, yeah, you know, a few times we were able to pass through them and get in their half, but then, you know, we weren't able to finish off a second goal. So just disappointing. Thanks, Sasha. I appreciate it. Yep. All right, Chris, you have a question? Sure do. Sasha, thanks for taking the time, brother. Um, you are perhaps the most experienced player on this team. You're no stranger to games like this. They happen. Um, if you were to pinpoint it, though, what exactly went wrong tonight for the LA Galaxy? Would you say that this was more of a physical thing or was it a mental thing for the players? Maybe a combination of both? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of both. I think, um, you know, what I said earlier is what I would say didn't go well for us was that we didn't pass the ball very well. We didn't do the things that we want to do to be the way that we are, the play the way that we have with the players on the field, to keep the ball, move the ball into their half, dominate possession and create chances that way. So we ended up sitting back too much. That was one part. And the second part is that we just didn't win enough duels and second balls.